Let's take a look at finding the mean on a TI-85 calculator. We won't go to the stat button here, so push stat. And then we want to choose edit. And you shouldn't uh, get used to that it'll, you always press stat and you always push F2. You should always use these menus. So we're going to the edit and then the button straight below it is F2. Now um, ask us for X list and Y list and those are fine. You just do enter on those. If, you, if they're not already in there you can type F1 to do X stat or again the button straight below the Y stat is F2. So I do enter on those. Now come up. If you have numbers there then um, you can push this delete. See delete I. It goes down straight below that. That's F2. And that will clean out the numbers. Okay so we're going to do 13. Now we only got uh, X values. We don't have Y values. We want the Y values to be left as 1. So you just do enter twice. Then do 19. Enter twice. 23. Enter twice. 31. Enter twice. 45. Enter twice. 46. Enter twice. 47. Enter twice. 51, enter twice, 53, enter twice. Okay, so we got our numbers input in. Now I want the calc uh, option here, but it's on the second row. So I'm gonna do an exit one time, and that'll bring that down. And then I'm gonna choose the button straight below calc, which is F1. And um, I'm gonna choose um, X stat. So I'll do the F1 right below it and enter. Now I want to choose Y stat. So I can do F2. Or if you already have it in here, like you see here, you just press enter. Okay, now once that comes up, then you'll see uh, one var down here. If you don't see it, you may have to push more, and you'll eventually see it. Choose the button below it, which is F1. And you see the first uh, item there says X bar, which is 36.44, rounded two decimal places. Remember, X bars are sample mean, which we know is the same formula as the population mean. Now, to exit out of all this, if you just press exit a couple times, it'll get you out of that. In this video, we took a look at how to find the mean on a T85 calculator.